Hi, my name is Bintu and today I am going to teach you how to connect MySQL and NetBeans IDE. NetBeans IDE Integrated Development Environment We know that it is very popular IDE for developing Java apps. While developing Java applications, you need to save information into the database. It might be the information regarding the items that you are selling or users or customers registering at your site. I believe that MySQL and NetBeans is already installed on your machine. If you haven't, please do it. And if you want any guidance in the steps of knowing how MySQL is installed on your machine, please refer to my YouTube videos. One is in English language and another is in Hindi language. These are the URLs for that. So after installing and configuring MySQL, you can go ahead with this tutorial. There are two phases of connecting MySQL with NetBeans. One is connecting MySQL with NetBeans will enable you to create database and tables from NetBeans ID. You can manage the rows, you can alter the table, you can alter the information in the tables. One more phase is that you can access the database content through your Java apps. So let's begin with it. When you launch NetBeans, you have to first ensure the MySQL database is running. If it is not, the first job is to run it. Let's do it practically. I am going to start with NetBeans. This is my NetBeans. The first thing that you get is this one. Go to the services window. You find these databases that are installed on your machine. And you can see that MySQL is initially in disconnected mode. So first job is to connect it. Right. So you right click on it and you click on start button. It will make it running. You have to authenticate before running the MySQL server. It is asking you to enter the root password. This is the password that you specified while installing MySQL server. So click on OK. You will find that MySQL started running and you will be able to see all the databases. These are the databases that are built in, they are already provided to you. We can create our own database also. Right. So you can click here, create database. It is asking you to enter the name of the database. Say suppose I enter the database name as shopping. See whenever you create any database, the admin, the root is given privileges to access it. If you want to give privileges or permissions to the specific users also to use this database, you have to click on grant full access to and the here from the drop down menu you have to select the user to which you want to give the permission to access the database. Right now I will keep it unchecked. I want only the root to access this shopping database. Click on OK. The shopping database is, you can see it, it is created here. And one more thing you can see is that this is created for you. This is your complete node. This proves that your shopping database is created. You can see tables and everything here. But the tables node is empty here because right now at this moment the shopping database is totally empty. If you want to create a table, click here, create table. Let's name the table as customers. Add a column, say email address. Select the data type as uh, where care and the size of email address is it to be 50. Make it a primary key. When you click on primary key, it will automatically check this unique box because primary key has to be unique. Okay, you click on OK. This column is added email address. Let's add one more column, password. Again, make it where care. Let's make it size 50. This null means you can enter null value also. You can leave this field as blank also. Anyway, we leave it as such as default. Click OK. So these are the two columns being created in the customers table. Click OK. So you can see that customer table is created with the two uh, columns. You can enter some data here also. Right click. Click on view data. View data will enable you to see the content. And from here, you can even add the rows. Can you see it here? This icon, insert record. You click here. It is asking you to enter the content of email underscore address column. Password, let's make it diamond. Add row for another. Click on add row to add another row and enter something like a a b c at hotmail.com anything and here say gold let's uh, keep the two rows only click on ok can you see that two rows have been inserted 
okay now this is that so this is your connecting of your netbeans and mysql so that you are able to create database you are able to manage database but there is one more phase of it you want to connect netbeans with mysql to enable the programs to access the database content let's begin with that phase also for that let's create one project new project select java category java application click on next let's give the name as assessing mysql Info. click on finish it will create one application for you when i my assessing my school info this is that all right uh, you have to add here library can you see that here you have to add one jar file what is that jar file let's understand that let's have a view of what we did we opened netbeans you were ensuring that my school database is running so what you did you went into the service window you right click on mysql node you click on start and you were prompted for the mysql uh, root password after that you created a database after creating a database created the tables also for assessing the mysql content through java programs you need one mysql connect object j and you have to download it from this url at the time of this lecture the latest version available for this mysql connector is 5.1.38 obviously this connector establishes the link between the netbeans and the mysql and it helps in establishing communication between java programs and mysql so when you go to this url you will be able to download this connector in the format of zip file you extract that zip file you'll find one jar file inside that zip file and what you need is that you have to first copy this jar file into the java's library folder i have jdk 8 installed on my machine so you have to copy this jar file into this location program files java and this jdk's lib directory so let's do it how to do that so i'm going to your desktop this is that mysql connector i have unzipped it here when you unzip it you'll find this jar file you have to copy this jar file first to java's where your java is installed java's lib folder this is my folder let me tell you this is the location program files java jdk 1.8.0-11 lib here you have to copy that jar file so it is copied here you need administrators uh, privileges to copy that first thing is that secondly you have to copy it into the project that you are creating so we have to go to that means here i want this do one thing right click on the project go into the properties you'll get this project properties window go into the libraries category here in this compile time libraries dialog box you'll find one button add jar object folder button click here select the jar file wherever it is click here click on open and you will find the jar file is mentioned here now click on okay so you'll find that your jar file is copied here now this is your project and it can access the database tables in the project because now through this java, java file your java code will be able to communicate with uh, mysql content let's see it how it is done we'll add one jsf file we are making gui project to see how the database access uh, on the package node right click it click on new j frame so give the any name to this frame that assessing or say displaying customers okay make it finish so this is your j frame open right because you want to show the content of the customers table you need a table element here so drag and drop the table element on the j frame window here it is so it's very simple to connect your database table now go to services yeah this is customer table here click and just drop it onto the table that's it it's connecting it your j table element is connected with your customers table and the proof is that can you see the two columns of uh, customer table being displayed here let's run it and check whether really it is connected or not right click on it and click on run file option can you see that the rows that you entered in the customers table that are displayed that means your mysql and netbeans are connected and your project is enabled to access the content mail me at bmharvani@yahoo.com and for watching more video tutorials search for bintu harvani there there are a lot of videos for you thank you so much have a nice day